Welcome to Insight. On paper, this is a certificate at Central Michigan University. Students take five courses as a cohort to build unique skills that will better prepare them for the workforce. What's this look like in action? We're about to find out. <laughs> Students have just completed their first full learning cycle. They're working in a room of fellow STEM majors, and that learning cycle follows five stages. Inception, engagement, research, creation, and reflection. Today, we're seeing what students have produced in the creation stage, a collaborative project that started with a research question. Good afternoon, everyone. We are the Funky Five, and our research question was, how can CMU improve energy sustainability on campus? How plausible is solar energy usage for Isabella County residents? And our research question was, how can central facility management use engineered cementitious composites, or ECC, to use on future projects in the 10-year plan of Brooks Hall? Uh, our research question is, is the usage of geothermal energy possible in Michigan? And if so, how can we implement it here? As part of their pitch, students explained their research and their methods of data collection. Um, in order to find our research question and determine our answer to it, we used quantitative and qualitative research because we weren't able to reach out to our expert. Well, we reached out, but they didn't reach back. Um, so for the quantitative research, we focused mainly on economic and efficiency analysis. Um, and then for the qualitative, it was more the history and background of hydroelectricity itself, dams, whether hydropower or not, and then also applying the context of the economy and efficiency on both of those. What you have to do is you have to take the amount of power you need in a day. So that would be the sum of all the powers of each equipment multiplied by like an eight hour day. You divide that by the time of the solar panels gathering energy times the output power of the solar panels. That gives you the amount of power they produce in that day. And thus you can scale how big the solar panel needs to be based on how much it needs to produce. All right, so once we actually put our survey together, we developed a QR code and we went around and had people scan it and they could take the survey from there. Students used the data and research they collected to share recommended systems, technology, materials, or next steps. Students did this in a variety of ways. Some used physical or computer models, and others walked through the results of their calculations and data sets and the implications. ECC is more durable than regular concrete, as seen in this stress strain graph. Um, so using that data that Josie uh, calculated for the pie chart, we created this bar graph. Solar panels didn't require a whole lot of maintenance, actually. 25 so years, every 25 it. years, we need to maintain concrete that is made by traditional we cement. To answer our research questions, there is potential for geothermal energy usage in Michigan as... Once the students finished their formal presentations, other members of the Insight cohort were able to ask questions. This moment captures the energy of insight well. Thoughtful questions in a comfortable setting where student voices are encouraged, ideas are supported, and skills are refined. <laughs>